G'day guys, I just thought I'd uh, share with you a little project that we've been working on for the last couple of weeks. It's a 3D printable Rubik's Cube solving robot. Now, I saw this on uh, Thingiverse and I thought that's a pretty cool bit of kit. Uh, something to involve a 3D printer, which I've been playing around with and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is probably break this video up in a couple of parts. Um, give you a quick look at the 3D printed robot uh, and then I'll go into some possibly some tips and tricks if you're looking at making one of these yourself into a separate video. Um, it, all, it is all pretty easy. Basically how it works, it takes your scrambled cube, it doesn't really matter how it's scrambled. Uh, you place it into your lower position of the robot there and then we've got our interface. We can hit run and then it'll grasp the Rubik's Cube and take a, a series of photos of it, which it's currently doing now. It takes 12 photos, uh, which could probably, it might be a bit tricky to see, but you can see it's displayed on my Raspberry Pi touchscreen, which I've got connected up to my Raspberry Pi. So it's a fully standalone Rubik's Cube solving robot. So once it's done the 12 photos uh, then it uses the software which is uh, available to download from the designers of this project uh, which is all details on their website it then calculates the moves for the Rubik's Cube and solves it so I'll let this run through it takes uh, a couple of minute or two to take the photos and then to solve it but then I'm going to do a separate video after this one uh, give you a little bit more details and like I said some tips and tricks so let's watch this little Robot go to work. So he's taking all the photos, he's just processing the, the moves. It's going to take 29 moves that displays on the touch screen here where he's going. Uh, gives you a percentage of its running. Um, there he goes. Alright, we'll watch him through, and like I said, I'll do a second video. Anyone interested in how I think it works and some tips and tricks? If not, thanks for watching guys. So it's not the fastest solving Rubik's Cube robot in the world. I've slowed it down. So it just gives the, uh, the, the grippers, so to speak, uh, a chance to nicely hold the Rubik's Cube without uh, messing it up. It's a little bit tricky for them because it's trying to hold it in three positions, especially on that, just move that back there. It's trying to hold it, you know, obviously with gravity trying to pull him down. That does a pretty good job. Uh, we're up to about 72 percent there it's got a few more moves to go and hopefully we'll have a um corrected cube i think it's been a, this has been a great little project uh, with my son and i he thinks it's pretty cute cool he's into rubik's cubes solving at the moment um i was i could roughly get it out i could get one side out quite easily um well, i can't remember the all the algorithms nowadays for it but that was another thing that sort of appealed to me. Um, there we go. A nicely simple cube. Alright guys, as I said, I'll do a second video. Uh, I'll show you some tips and tricks and how I think it all works. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.